Oh, hi guys. Today we're going to、uh, talk about one of my simpler indicator, which is a moving average cross indicator. But it is focused on using the distance between the two moving average to filter out some unnecessary cross.、Um, we all know, like moving average cross system is by far the most popular trading system of all. And we also know what what is the good things about it and what is the bad things about it. When there's a substantial trend, and without any retracement, moving average cross works really well.、Uh, however, when when the trend is not going as strong, you will have those small crosses. As a result, you will have many、uh, losing small losing trades. Um, I noticed that a lot of my clients like to use this idea to filter out some of the small cross, which is a filter based on the distance, or you can say the gaps between the two moving averages. And this is the principal idea of this indicator.、Uh, now let's take a look at the external variables. You see, I, I named as gap MA cross because gap is the principal idea of this indicator. So for the indicator settings,、uh, we're talking about two moving average cross. Obviously, we have a fast MA. We also have a slow MA. To use this indicator, you do not have to attach these two moving average separately on chart first. Because this indicator itself is going to draw both moving average, and because my focus is on these kind of up and down signals, see these two moving averages by default is silver color, although you can change their color here. So to define the moving average, we have the period, type, and shift. Okay,、um, but shift. You you needs to use、uh, okay, and then last is、uh, the separation threshold. The separation I'm talking about the distance or gap or separation between these two moving averages, and here threshold is ten. So when we identify a signal, not only Slow, a fast moving average has to go in this case is a buy has go has to go above the slow moving average. It needs to go have a minimal separation of ten pips. This is what this means. Okay, these defines the two moving averages. And then、uh, for the alert settings, and first the there's two things that defines how we find the alert. First is alert closed bar.、Uh, what this does, if this is true, and we are only finding the confirmed signal after a bar is closed. So when this when this condition is chosen, this moving average only join to the last closed bar. It doesn't even draw the current bar because we are only concerning the condition at here. But when you choose, and also all the signal is confirmed after bar is closed, and there's no repaint whatsoever. However, if you choose this to be false. You can see the moving average displayed to the current bar. So when there's a cross and the separation to be ten pips during the current bar, we're going to signal and we're going to alert. Although you need to realize such signal could disappear if the condition、uh, changes again. So cer certain traders like to trade real tick. Certain traders like to trade closed bar. When you trade real tick using when this is false, this is effectively a repaint indicator. And then next, first cross only. 
Let's first make this true. Make this false. You can see what that means. When this is false, you can see this here. This actually it follows another up bar. What happens is here we have a gap of ten. The gap is enlarged. And then this is even a minus gap because it turns down, and then now from minus to plus, but less than 10. And then here we have a we have crossed the threshold of 10 again. So when this is so we're identifying every every bar that that has the, this buy condition, regardless what is uh, the previous signal. So basically, you you could consider this a buy signal. This is a continuation of buy signal. And if I give this, we can see some other examples. See here, here's another one. Why this is a signal? It is because it is it is a turn from less than ten to more than ten on the sell side. Okay, this is turn from less than ten to、uh, more than ten on the sell side. So you can see two continuous sell signal. This usually happens like in the once again, in a major downtrend, there might be some retracement and then continuation of the sell signal again, depending how you wanted to use it. In some people, you might wanted to submit multiple trades. See. Once again, this is a buy buy. This is all we are finding every point if it changes from narrow to wide, wide enough. In this case, it's ten.、Uh, but if I choose this particular option, which is first cross only, one is true, and this will disappear. Then we'll consider this is the starting of the uptrend. Even when it goes down, as long as it's less than ten, there's no signal, and、uh, there's a no signal here because this is this is all part of a continuous uptrend, and the downtrend only starts from here, and、uh, see from here it goes cross up, but no more than ten, we don't count, and here. We do not consider that's a signal at all because this is all considered one major down downtrend. This is when this first cross only set to true. Once you set this to true, you must have buy sell buy sell alternative. You cannot have a buy after buy. All depends on how you want to use it. And also on screen here, it always shows gap distance. Now, if I'm using the closed bar option, and this shows the last closed bar gap, if I am using the real tick, which is this set to false, then this always displaying the current bar real time distance. And when it comes to alert, here we have show alert box, and we have play audio. And when you wanted to play audio, true、uh, when it's true, then here you can specify the audio file. And another two alert option is to send email and then send to your phone, send to your smartphone. Both of these two options needs require requires you to set up your email and your phone to receive such alert. And last is arrow size for these arrows. And here is an alert example that's given. First is time, and this this moving average indicator name, and this is a currency pair. This is a time frame, and this is a alert direction. And here is the example of those phone alert that sent. To the Android phone, and for this we we call this push notification. You need to set up your ID and in your MT4, so MT4 knows which phone to send. Thank you very much for watching, and glad to have your support.